about how I'd like to see you make it happen. So number one, right, recruit really aggressively. I mean, we, we've had a good fortune of, you know, Playfair, I, I, mean, I think this is like the class of 2010, it's the first day on campus, right? I mean, we've been doing Playfair Ultimate for years and years and years and years. This has always been a big thing for us in terms of getting lots of bodies, getting lots of people interested, excited about all of the ultimate. The university in general is really supportive of us. Um, and definitely staying on good terms with the university is something we need to do from a recruiting standpoint. Right? We can't ever get to a point where we think that we're such a great you know, organization, great frisbee players, that we don't need to put the work in to be in Todd Jackson's office, to make sure the AD is cool with us, to be able to do special things. You know, we're the only club organization that is like on the orientation schedule, for example. It's not a coincidence. That's a function of the work that myself and other people before we put into interfacing with the university that we can start driving that recruiting effort early on. Um, and when you recruit, recruit athletes, right? So the game when I started was a skill game. If you had a ridiculous IO flick, you could probably carry your team to nationals. Probably. The game has changed. It's about athletes, right? If you can get up and over everybody in the region, you're going to win a lot of games. That, that's how the game is right now at the college level. And, you know, these pictures are just a couple that are like easy to grab off the internet of youngsters doing great things athletically, right? And we've had good athletes. We have good athletes now. We're going to continue to get good athletes, but what you need to do is foster that culture that we're going to base the program on big, solid athletic plays. You can teach skill, that's easy, right? Teaching somebody to be a giant 6'5 athlete is, is not easy, right? I mean, you can get people in shape. We've had guys work up through our program that have gotten themselves in a phenomenal shape, right? But recruit the athletes. Start with the athletes. Start with the hard work. Start with the guys that are going to be committed. Start with the guys who were, you know, a D3 prospect, and that's why they came to Carnegie Mellon for football or track or whatever. You know, Chris Holiday is somebody we got really excited about because we're trying to poach him off the track team, right? I mean, that's great. You know, do that. Go after that guy more often because that's going to pan out for us in the long run. Even if he's awful, he's never seen a frisbee in his life. Sophomore year, by the time you teach him basic skills, right? Debner is a great example. You know, Debner was awful when we started, but he was a good athlete, right? And over the course of three years, we taught him how to throw a backhand, and he's pretty good now, right? So that's you know that that's a good example of what what we want to do. And I'd rather see every freshman come in like Debner, and no freshman come in with you know a 60-yard foot come, because it's going to grow your program much faster than if you base it on skill. I also want you guys to um, engage in the local ultimate community. So th this is a picture of the second time Pitt went to nationals. The first time Pitt uh, played at Ohio State for nationals. A ton of people from the Pittsburgh community. People involved in the Pitt program, people from CMU, people were just around in Pittsburgh. Everybody in carpool out there. We had a great time. You know, Pitt had the most fans of anybody, right? I think they won one game, right? They were kind of a joke at Nationals, right? But they had the most fans, right? And what that tournament did for Pitt, for the ultimate community, for high school kids who went out and watched, right? That was a spring one. That was a big deal for those guys. It was a big deal for the city. It was a big deal for different ultimate programs. It's a big deal for kids coming out of pool, some of which ended up coming to CMU, right? You'd be surprised how many ways getting involved in events like that, going out to support Pitt when they have success, you know, helping Duquesne grow, grow a program, which is what right, they're trying to do, coaching youth teams, playing in weaves, you know, fostering relationships with kids in high school, right? All that stuff is so important because what it's going to do is you're gonna you're gonna find kids that want to come to see you because you know what, like that one summer they played with Frank was freaking sweet, right? Or whatever, right? You're gonna find 
guys on the pit side line who are like, yeah, I'm going to come over and support senior kids. I'm going to, you know, come coach a practice, right? You know, Jake Christian is a good example of this. He's somebody that I've had a great relationship with for the past couple of years, and he always wants to know how he can show up at our practice and help, right? That's because we've been engaged in the community with those guys, right? If, if I said, you know what, my opinion is, you know, fuck the pit guys, they're they're no use to me, they're not interested in what we're doing, there's no way Jake would want to come around, right? And, you know, that stuff is going to be really important moving down become more of a Nationals contender. Trust me, Pitt's a great resource for us, right? And the fact that you've got a top two or three team right now, Nationals, you know, a five minute walk away from you, is ridiculous. That's, you know, that's a huge resource, right? Make use of that, whether it's through team scrimmages, individual relationships, learning how to throw with those guys, training with those guys, whatever, right? Get involved in the community. That, that's going to be really big for you. And also, I want you to keep in mind that you know you should <laughs> engage your alumni, right? As you know, creepy and weird as some of them are, right? The vast majority of them are employed, which means they make money, which means they can give Mr. Yuck money, right? Which will help you fly places. It will help.